All right, guys. I'm going to stop the video before it even begins, uh, just to do sort of like a minor edit. As you will notice in the video, uh, there was a little bit of a mix-up with the paints that they sent out in my box. Now, it doesn't really affect me too much. I've got the proper paints they should have sent out from a previous box, so I've got the colours. But just in case the one person watching this has ended up with two reds instead of a red and a green, or drab khaki, uh, let me know in the um, Model Box Facebook group, and if you want it, I can send it to you. Um, I have spoken to Model Box, it's a genuine mistake. You know, mistakes happen, only human. I hold no ill will against them. I love the company, and I love the boxes I get each month. But just as a sort of like, you know, don't think bad of them. You know, mistakes happen. Anyway, back to the video. You're right guys, Gary aka Hopeless back again, proving that my upload schedule is as erratic as ever. This is a Modelbox video. Modelbox, just in case you did not know, is a monthly subscription service. Each month they send out a little box of goodies, uh, which will contain things for painting, tabletop gaming, and uh, other things like that. And sorry, I'm throwing a cable everywhere just in case you pick that up. Um, yeah, a little bit different. Uh, not so much of a box this month, but more of a envelope. Or well, one of those cardboard envelopes that uh, they send books out in. And I was a little confused up until I reread the uh, theme announcement for the month. And it is, and I quote, the biggest box this year with over £50 worth of goodies stuffed into it. The fantasy box will include miniatures, one being our model box exclusive, paints, and two rule books from a popular cult skirmish game. I generally have no idea what that is, so um, yeah, let's open this up. As always, there'll be an affiliate link down below, so if you like what you see in this one and you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up on the website through that link below. I get a bit off, you get a bit off, we're all good. Uh, forgive the desk, you might see a lot of things just poking into frame. That is literally as much time as I've had this month. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff ready to paint. Just not actually painted much. So, let's uh, let's crack this open. Ooh, okay. Right, first thing out of the box. Now I can see a slight issue here, or potential issue. It's uh, two pots of paint. Uh, Warlord Games, Drab, Draca uh, Drab Khaki, and uh, I seem to have two of the same, so I don't know whether that is an oversight or not. Uh, I'll have to double check the paperwork. I will double check that the paperwork in a minute. So yeah, two pots of drab khaki. Uh, next out is a mini. What's this? The Red Book of the Elf King. I'll apologize straight away as well. I've got a little bit of a cough. <coughs> um, not the big C. I'm double jabbed and I've tested and it's uh, more than likely just a cold from the kids. But yeah, here we go. So this is the, the Red Book of the Elf King. Uh, as always, I'll put a close-up shot of each thing at the end of the video so you can get a better look at this. It's quite a nice weight to it. The little elf. It's got uh, a couple of fairies uh, flapping round her. Double check, yep, there is a her. That's quite interesting. Uh, we've now... I'm going to leave... I can see the books. I'm going to leave those uh, to the end because they are quite big. Uh, I've got the exclusive model box mini for the month. And that is... It looks like a troll goblin-y thing. Looks interesting. Hmm. Little jaggedy metal sword. I like the facial expression, that's quite cool. And first book. It's 
try not to get the glare on. The Red Book of the Elf King. This is Lucid Eye Publications, rules written by Rick Priestley. I'm not familiar, familiar with this. Uh, and thus it was, following the seven acts and likewise the seven revelations which were foretold within the pages of the Red Book, the seer of the Elf King bade him forge the world anew. Forsake this old world, wield wrath upon it, hasten this doom. But the king knew his old friend ensnared upon a web spun by his brother, ever the deceiver, and knew the hour was late, and all bonds of friendship broken across this land. War had come to the Fey, and all ambitions, ere now held in close regard, were risen, all wrongs, real or imagined, had broken the surface, and were now in plain sight. The thimble winter raged, swords and spears were made sharp, it was the time of wrath. The time of ruin and the fey revenge was upon them all. The Red Book of the Elf King contains rules for a 28mm heroic miniatures game, allowing players to fight between powerful elven thanes, lords of the circles of the fey kingdoms of Eos, fell warriors and creatures of sorcerous might. A player controls their fane along with that fane's loyal companions in epic and brutal battle against their foe, where sharp spear, wild magic, powerful artifacts and dark sorcery pierce the very fabric of reality. Contains references to violence and ritual magic recommended for the mature reader. That's interesting. I'm going to have a, a quick shifty. Okay, well, that's that's a lot. What you'll need stuff markers. This would be uh, interesting to have a, a read through. Nice little rule book. As much as I would love to sit down and play games properly, I just generally do not have the time. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in there. Cool, right, so Red Book of the Elf King. And then the other book, Troll Wars. Second Book of the Elf King, Lucid Eye Publications, rules written by Rick Priestley. My god. The witch had whispered tell uh, uh, the witch had whispered fell tales of easy conquest into Ragion's mutilated ears that the realm he had now set, up, set foot upon was weakened and ripe for the taking. Ragvian, Ragvian was not a troll lord of the White Fells for ill reason. He was cunning and cruel, and stood proud among his kin. He had Halagvas, his fell axe. He was well versed in troll secrets, and he had other singular skills. Thus the witch had spread her news, but Ragvian sensed that not all was not as it should be. The shore had seen his arrival, and whoever was lord of this land knew of his trespass, for fey lords know every leaf and stone within their realms, and see all which pass throughout their kingdoms. Ragvian gripped tighter his axe and steadied his quailing thralls. The dark blood of their immortal lives was in danger of being shed this day. Ragvian would be a great troll king, troll king all his life. His long life would now be forfeit. Troll Wars is the second book in the Elf King saga. Within can be found new circles, new races, trolls, mortals, Vort Hexen and Pell Witches, new clamors, troll secrets and Pell Hexes, new artifacts and new scenarios detailing a narrative set within and beyond the Isle of Seren. Sorrent? Seren. Sorrent. Troll Wars serves as a supplement and expansion to the cool core rules within the Red Book of the Elf King, offering further details of the setting and a host of supplemental material for the game. So strap on your Feyblade of Star Metal, don your glamour-bound armour and prepare your magics for Red War and the Fall of All. This is not a standalone product, requires rules contained within the Red Book of the Elf King for full use. This also contains references to violence, ritual magic, and recommended for the mature reader. I like that artwork. I am a sucker for art books. So even if I do not play this, I can have a look at the pictures later. Oh, there he is. 
Wow. Seems interesting. Seems very interesting. And uh, I think that's it. Oh no, no, no. Hidden in the folds, two tubes of sweets. Sweet. My daughter will love it. Right. I am going to have a little bit of a clear up and then we'll read through the paperwork. I've really got to try and sort something out with this light glare. So, September was fantasy month. Red Book of the Elf King, books one and two. In a model box first, you will find two rule books to get you using your models and to learning a new game system. The Elf King book lets you play out the Elf Civil War in the land of Eos, and the Troll Wars on the Outer Islands. Paints, Warlord Games. As with all model boxes, we include two paints to help paint your miniatures in this box. Included this month are Drab, Drag Khaki for the Troll and should be Danger Red for the character. Now, uh, we've also got the Troll. This awesome troll sculpted by our talented sculptor Matilde. Matilda? I never, I, I do apologize, I never know how to pronounce your name. Matilda of Ve Victus Miniatures. Armed with a rusty sword, although it's more like a cleaver, this troll is ready to protect its bridge or treasure. Or anything, really. Red Book of the Elf King character, Lucid Eye. You'll find one of Lucid Eye's characters from their range, the Red Book of the Elf King, in your box. Which one did you get? Let us know in our Facebook group once this month's spoiler ban is up, of course. And the theme for next month, October, is October. But yeah, that is September's model box. I like it. I will read these. I think I've said that. I will read these and I will try and paint things, but once I've got everything else painted with my Stormcast Eternals and various 3D printed things that I've got in the last couple of weeks, it will be fine. Uh, as always, please do let me know what you think down below in the comments. I do like uh, interacting with people on here. Might not upload often, but uh, it's always nice to see comments. Um, as I said before, there will be an affiliate link down below as well. So if you want to try this out, uh, you can do. And get a little bit off, I get a little bit off, and uh, we're all happy. But yeah, as always, I'm Gary, aka Hopeless. If you did like the video, please do leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. I promise I am working on getting painting done. It's just uh, trying to find a rhythm between uh, looking after my little one while my, uh, while my girlfriend's at work and my daughter's at school and uh, fitting, you know, work in. But I'm sure I'll get there in the end. I do have plans. I do have other things that I want to paint. And like I said, it's getting there. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I was Gary, aka Hopeless, and uh, hopefully I might see you in the next one. So until then, see ya. <laughs>